forgive me if I'm a bit sweaty right now, but I have been driving around trying to find a book. I finished my last book, which is Slow Productivity by Cal Newport, and I really wanted a new book. The unfortunate thing being in Vietnam is it's hard sometimes to find English books, and I decided I was going to go to a bookstore and just see what books they had and just get something. When I got to the first bookstore, I realized they didn't have a book that I wanted. I was thinking I could get one uh, that you know would be okay, and I was like, mm, I, I don't know. I'm thinking there's that Rick Rubin book that I that I wanted. So then I was like, okay, well let's see if I can find this. So I was asking the staff there if they had it. Uh, staff didn't have it, so I drove to another bookstore. But I got some coffee first, and I was like, oh man, I need some food. But I uh, still checked out another bookstore, and uh, they didn't have it either. Asked the staff, asked if they could order it. So one of the difficult things is, is ordering food. Uh, sorry. I mean, it's ordering uh, books or finding the right books. And uh, yeah, I'm still, I still feel awkward when like people around me are like looking at me when I'm recording, so that's why I messed up. But yeah, they're, they're coming here to get food. This is a gum bin down place, which is like affordable rice. I think someone said it means rice, affordable, it's something like that, or poor man's rice or something, but uh, usually this is about a dollar for a full meal. So I absolutely love it. And I was driving around for a while, I was like, I'm, I'm hungry, I need to find what I want. And I usually just drive around until I see something that clicks and I'm like, that's, that's what I want. Um, sometimes that can be a while, a while I'm driving around, I'm just getting hungry the whole time. But still, it's like super convenient. There's all these places set up with food so you can just, you know, choose whatever you're feeling. Um, I usually go for rice over soup and noodles. I love rice, I, I absolutely love it. And this is so healthy, it's got protein, uh, rice, it's got vegetables and that soup, it's got tons of vitamins in it, because it's like all the vegetables are sitting in it. So I absolutely love that. Um, I still wanna find that book, The Creative Act by Rick Rubin. Finding the right book you want in Vietnam is a challenge, but I think there's some in Ho Chi Minh um, so I think that there should be some way to get a copy of that over here. Yeah, I think I find comfort in reading a book that offers some feeling of progress. I find comfort in a feeling of progress. If I feel like I'm not progressing or I'm doing nothing for growth, I don't really feel that good. So I'm comforted when I know that I'm progressing and reading is a thing that I like doing learning language or something like that. Sometimes I don't really like doing it. Like to be honest, I love watching anime and I love hearing the Japanese language and I feel like learning some of that is fun. And I'm, I really like the language. Uh, for Vietnamese, it's so difficult to find Vietnamese content that's good. Like, it's, it's really hard. Every once in a while I'll find like a movie or TV show, but they're really not that great. To be honest, the, the quality of just the producers or the directors or the actors, whatever it is, it's, just, it's not really like engaging. It's like a, it's stressful for me to watch, not enjoyable. But for example, like anime, I really, really enjoy that. And I like get a learn a language, sometimes I pause it, rewind it, where they show some words and then they pronounce it on screen. So I like pause it and then try to pronounce it myself. So I'm not like learning fast or anything, but I, I enjoy that. Um, so yeah, I'm still trying to find that around Vietnamese. What will help me learn it and enjoy it? Because I'm here and I don't feel like I'm progressing on the language that quickly. So I'd like something to help me progress on it more. Though I'm finding myself reading and always enjoying that. I don't need any push. It's always, I'm always pulled to go do some reading or I'm pulled to go watch anime. I'm, I'm pulled to go do things. When you feel like you're pushing too much to do something, it means you're not really enjoying it. And if you're always pushing, it's just difficult. It's kind of like 
you're gonna burn out because you're not being pulled in the direction you want to go. You're pushing in a direction that you think you need to go. And for me, like I want to learn Vietnamese, and I'm pulled there to speak with people better. But I'm pushing in every way to learn because I really don't enjoy it all that much, to be honest. Um, I've tried going to classes. <laughs> At some point, I just don't like it. Uh, for learning Japanese, I mean, I enjoyed that a lot. There were some teachers maybe that were a little bit more stressful, but I always enjoyed it. Um, for other languages, like when I studied Spanish or studied Vietnamese, I get to a point where I'm like, I'm not really enjoying it. And I think the Japanese characters are fun to learn. Vietnamese characters are not fun, they just exist and they're hard to pronounce. I feel like I'm like trashing uh, the languages. But I don't mean to want to learn Vietnamese. I just haven't figured out a system that I really enjoy doing, but I can learn it. And if I can figure out something where I can actually enjoy it, I mean, that would be phenomenal. I really want to just watch content, absorb that, and like repeat words and stuff. I, I wish that was the way I could learn Vietnamese. So if, if you know any like incredible content, or even like child's cartoons that are really fun, right? I don't want to watch like cruddy child's cartoons, but if there's like fun child's cartoons of Vietnamese, I would love to watch that. Basically, I'm like child level, so, you know, I'm fine watching that kind of stuff for a couple years. Um, but yeah, I want to I wanna feel like I'm progressing on the YouTube stuff feel like it a little bit as well like there's some points of tension when I'm trying to do it like should I be filming in public which always feels weird <laughs> people walk by and they just stare at me uh, also because they're hearing English but you know it's a pretty loud country it's like one of the loudest ones where everyone around you will be on their phone or talking loud and playing music on their phone next to you or whatever so I figure I can do it. I just don't know if you'll actually be able to hear the sound. Come, like, hear me speaking. Uh, so yeah, go back and forth with those thoughts. But I came to this place which had nobody in it when I arrived. So I was like, you know what? Maybe I could, I could try filming something in here. Um, but I'm unsure of what stuff to film. My friends and family say, <clears throat> It would be really interesting if I like recorded a bunch of stuff here and like my life, which you know I could do. I just don't want to hold my phone around, like you know, walk with it all the time. Uh, and uh, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh man, it'd be so cool to drive and record. <laughs> but sometimes it's really chaotic in some areas. I don't want to be driving with one hand and recording. But like. You know, people do drive with one hand, like they'll hold like a bird cage in one, and they'll drive with one hand, the whole, you know, until they drop off this bird somewhere. So, I could do it. But sometimes it's chaos. And when I was driving here, it was absolute chaos. I'm in the city side, and it's like people going by, the honks everywhere, like you're just in this middle of this like flood, and you're trying not to hit anything. And when you're in Saigon, like up right now I'm in a Da Nang, but when I was in Saigon, it's like that all the time. Every single time you leave your place, it's just like the constant like, when you're when you're in the city. And then here, when I'm in the city, I feel it like every once in a while, like some condensed streets. But over on the beach side, I ne almost never feel it. So I absolutely love it. I, I really don't like traffic. I mean, who, who likes traffic, right? When you live in a big city, you just like, and you drive, you just live in traffic. Gosh, people are always so angry and bitter. Like it makes your day worse when you have to sit in traffic. I've known very few people that like are just purely happy and don't care about the traffic. Well, that helps I me. I care way too much. I guess I take it way too seriously. So I love with uh, no no traffic. And I, I keep pausing whenever you know someone comes in and like stares at me. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to give an update. I am. Um, going to search for a way to get that book ordered here, find a way to bring it here, and I'm going to try recording some more stuff like this. Right now I'm going to go to another coffee shop, and I'm just going to edit for this video and what I've 
recorded today and get that posted. So you tell me what you think. If you like this video, I can do more stuff like this. I'm also thinking about, I got a whiteboard. There's some thoughts around personal growth that I love thinking about and I could spend time doing that. I think it needs more preparation work than this, just pulling out my phone and, and talking to you. So yeah, let me know what you find interesting or what you want me to chat more about or, or record and then, <laughs> and then I'll go do it, like why not? Anyway, thank, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit and I'll see you next time, bye. They got some good books, like Digital Minimalism by Cal Newport, really good. Deep work. So this place has good books. Good choices.